Heritage Auctions presents the Shoshana Collection, the greatest collection of ancient Judean coins ever brought to public auction. Diligently assembled over 40 years by a California collector who had unequaled access to some of the most important specialists in the field, the Shoshana Collection spans the dawn of coinage in the Holy Land circa 500 BC to the Islamic conquest 1100 years later. The sale is scheduled for March 8th and 9th in New York City and comprises 712 lots, including several outstanding rarities. The lily, or Shoshan in Hebrew, has been associated with Judea from the earliest times. This extremely rare silver dram from the Holy Land, likely struck in Jerusalem and patterned on the famous Athenian owl tetradram, has a lily shown clearly on the reverse. It is the finest of fewer than three known specimens. One of the most famous and highly sought after early Judean coins is the menorah bronze pruda of Mattatia Antigonus, last of the Maccabee rulers of Israel. Struck in 37 BC, this humble bronze piece is one of the only ancient coins to depict two of the sacred objects from the temple in Jerusalem, the showbread table and the seven-branched menorah. Only 23 menorah coins are known to have survived, and the first Shoshana collection includes two of them. By the first century of the Common Era, Judea had fallen under the heavy hand of Rome. In 66 AD, discontent flared into full-scale war in the ancient Holy Land, with the tiny state of Israel pitted against the vast and powerful Roman Empire. For the first time, the Jewish state struck silver coins with designs and slogans proclaiming independence and freedom. This prototype silver shekel, struck during the first weeks or months of the conflict, is much like a modern pattern. Only a small handful were made to test the engraving and minting facilities at the Jerusalem Temple, of which only two have survived to the present day. The only other known specimen is in the Israel Museum. In archaic Hebrew script, the obverse declares itself a shekel of Israel, made in year one. The reverse inscription reads, Jerusalem the Holy. The Jewish forces struck a full range of denominations in silver during the great conflict, including half and quarter shekels. Only two quarter shekels of year one have survived to the present day, of which the Shoshana specimen is by far the finest. Due to the religious ban on graven images, None of the Judean coins struck during the conflict bear any human or animal images. The obverses of nearly all silver coins depict a ritual chalice, while the reverses bear a stem with three pomegranates, probably intended to represent the top of a staff carried by the temple high priests. By the fourth year of the Great War against Rome, the Judean forces had been pushed back to the environs of Jerusalem and conditions were getting desperate. Supplies of precious metal dwindled and shekels of year four and five are exceedingly rare. This half shekel of year four is one of only six specimens known to have survived. Early in 70 AD, the Roman legions under the general Titus surrounded Jerusalem and after a five month siege stormed the temple precinct a few hundred Jewish fighters escaped to the mountaintop fortress of Masada, which held out for another three years. When the Romans finally battered their way in, they found nearly all of the remaining rebels had committed ritual suicide in a final act of defiance. This rare silver shekel of year five was reportedly found at Masada and was once part of the famous Nelson Bunker Hunt collection. Sixty years after the end of the First Jewish War, the Jews of the Holy Land once again erupted into revolt, this time under the charismatic warrior Simon bar Kosiba, who claimed to be the Messiah prophesied in Scripture. Later generations would call him bar Kokhba, son of a star. Again, the Jews struck silver coins, this time hammering their own designs into Roman coins circulating in the region. This exceedingly rare silver Selah of year one is among the finest known examples. The Judean rebels also had a range of bronze coins during the Bar Kokhba conflict, including these exceptionally large pieces, now called Abu Jara coins. The Shoshana collection contains the world's largest private collection of Abu Jara pieces, including this wonderful specimen. The obverse inscription reads, 
Jerusalem, while the reverse reads, Year One of the Redemption of Israel. This remarkable silver Sela of Year Two is deeply struck from fresh dyes and perfectly centered, exceptionally rare in this wartime emergency coinage. The obverse depicts the facade of the Great Temple, destroyed in the First War, six decades before, while the reverse shows the Lulah and Etrog used in Jewish ritual. The reverse inscription reads, Year Two of the Freedom of Israel. The Romans made brilliant use of coinage to spread propaganda messages. None of these issues is more famous than the Judea Capta series of coins. This spectacular brass, Cistercius, of the Emperor Vespasian, struck in 71 AD, shows a remarkably lifelike profile of the Emperor, backed with a symbolic depiction of the subjugation of Israel. A rebel warrior is shown with his hands bound behind his back at the base of a palm tree, while a woman representing Judea sits with her head hung in mourning. This amazing coin has the original brassy surfaces of a freshly struck coin and is among the finest in existence. Titus, son of the Emperor Vespasian, was given the task of finally conquering Jerusalem during the Jewish War. This exceedingly rare gold aureus of Titus was struck in Judea early in 70 AD, probably at the mint of Caesarea Maritima. On the reverse, victory is shown attaching a shield to a palm tree. The legend Judea de Victa translates as Judea is conquered. Fewer than 10 of these aurei are known to have survived, with the Shoshana specimen by far the finest known. The Shoshana collection concludes with an extensive array of coins struck in cities of the Holy Land while under Roman rule, including numerous coins of extreme rarity and a few unique examples. In the latter category is this beautiful silver tetradram of the Roman Emperor Caracalla, who reigned from 198 to 217 AD. The reverse depicts a bust of the Egyptian goddess Isis over three lion's heads, testimony to the continuing influence of Egyptian religion and culture in the region. The presentation of the Shoshana collection marks a historic and monumental day in the world of numismatics. We would love for you to be among the new owners of these historically important coins. Please join us in person in New York on March 8th and 9th or on our website at ha.com 3003. Good luck.